Hello and welcome everybody to our new series Fix My Habitat. I thank you so much that so many of you participated and um, sent me your soup files so that we can start off this new little series and I hope you enjoy it as much as I will do. Um, uh, to make a long story short, um, here in, um, in the first zoo we are going to fix a habitat for. This zoo got sent in from Mariah. Mariah is from Australia, if I got that right. And um, she told me that her sea lion habitat needs to be fixed. Um, she also has a little problem, uh, problem with her beavers that are escaping her habitat. So if we got a little time, we might look at this as well. And now I think we are going to um, look for the sea lion habitat and try to find where it is. So come join me and we'll see what we will find. So I guess we have to walk over that bridge here. Okay, on the left hand side there are the bisons. I like what you did here that you um, made a natural like barrier here with the uh, with the rocks and the huge water section. Okay, there's a little bison swimming here. I wonder if this little guy could walk just right up here and look at the visitors. So Ah, okay, he's escaped. So we let him take him back to his habitat. Okay, so what do we have here? There's some prey toy here. Okay, this is for the cougars. No sea lions. Let's look here. Moose, beavers. No sea lines, but I guess we have to walk straight up. Here are the moose. And here. What is here? Oh, okay, okay. Here are the beavers. Animal has escaped. Okay, so. Here we got the escaping beavers. We might look at this later. And now we're moving on. Looking at the signs, grizzly bear and sea lion. Okay, here we go. Okay, we have a nice kind of arch here with nice planting. And I think we found it. Okay. Yeah, here we are, here are the sea lions. So let's have a look, that's quite a big habitat with a huge water section. I am just wondering why you didn't put uh, the water level up here. Maybe that's not possible. Oh, it is possible, okay. So that's a thing we might get into as well. Okay, so there's a shelter. Okay, I like what you did here with the glass roof and with the shape of the building. We can pimp that as well a little bit. So here's the underwater viewing section. We might work on this as well. Okay. Great. So we will work on these barriers as well as you know. I'm a fan of custom fences, so I will try to make some custom build here and a little more rock work um, all around to make this look a little more natural. So what is here? Again, a 
beaver that escaped. So, but we will pause the game for now and I will leave you guys here and go into the speed build now. Okay, so here we go with the speed build. First of all, I had to get rid of the sea lions because I needed the space to work in the habitat. So all the sea lions had to go. But then I noticed, okay, just one of them went to the trading center and all the others um, were staying in their habitat. Um, I was a little bit curious why that might be, but then I decided, okay, so just pause the game um, and get rid of everything that is inside the habitat and uh, then take the sea lions and just put them out of the water so that you can actually work in that space. And that did work out pretty fine because I'm always building um, in pause mode anyways so um, it was no problem with the sea lions still staying in their habitat okay as i said first of all i had to make room for everything i wanted to change um, this video would have been quite um, long because um, i worked on this habitat for about i think two and a half or three hours uh, something like that so there was uh, a lot of stuff in that video and also uh, a lot of things that I was uh, building and deleting and building again and deleting again and so I had to cut out a lot of this but I, um, I hope I left all the interesting stuff in the video. So I had to get rid of the water and um, I wanted to make the... Um, yeah, the way the sea lions can go into the water a little bit nicer and not that steep. So I decided to make something like those uh, natural stairs in the water. Sea lions um, won't mind it because um, they would enter the water on, uh, on the top of that. But it also looks a little bit nicer for the visitors when they look into the habitat. Um, so that there's not that kind of uh, of a steep uh, thing that goes into the water okay as you might notice English is not my mother tongue um, I'm usually from uh, usually I'm uh, exactly from uh, from Germany so I'm trying to do my best so that everybody can understand what I'm saying here and um, yeah as I said I'm trying my best so here I had to get rid of the um, of the walkways. Um, I wanted to make it look a little nicer and um, not that steep with uh, with the staircase, so that um, even people with disabilities in a wheelchair or something like that can uh, can go and see the sea lines underwater as well. So um, uh, that's great that there, um, we have this terrain tool where we actually can uh, can use it like in the uh, in the building mode, so that we can have this uh, this great kind of building terrain in uh, in an exact angle. So that's what I did here so that it would be easier to put um, the walkways then um, on top of that and um, to connect the path um, all together. Yeah, that's also something that I did two or three times because um, in the beginning I was trying to get it fixed um, another way. Um, I tried to let the staircase stay on one side and um, just have it um, uh, removed from, from the other side, but that didn't work out really well. So I had to delete it again and try it again and um, 
yeah in the end i decided this would be the bet uh, the best way and um i think it turned out pretty pretty nice and So we're not killing trees, we're just um, removing them um, uh, or replacing them. And I had to get rid of this trash can and um, yeah, to connect the paths. Okay, so it seems like the path is finished so we can go back to building the wall no i'm not mr trump uh, i'm just building a wall in the zoo um yeah and we go with the thick glass barrier um and that's one thing why i don't like animals um, swimming animals that much if you want to build an underwater section because you can't use um, custom built fences because they wouldn't hold the water so you have to use the in-game ones um, for sure you can decorate them afterwards and so on but um, yeah i have a problem with always and only using those in-game fences because they not all look that nice so there's one thing in uh, general I'd like to say even if I'm fixing your habitats in this uh, in this series um, and try to make them look a little nicer I don't want to say that your habitats don't look nice or are uh, are awful or something like that that's not the case because to be uh, to be honest with you um especially uh, with uh, with the build like this from uh, from Mariah that's exactly how i started building my uh, my first zoos and uh, and my habitats just by watching youtube uh, videos of so many great um, uh, content creators so many great builders in planet zoo i um i learned how to exactly um yeah pimp my habitats up how important it is to put a lot of rocks down a lot of foliage um, in your habitats and um, uh, get a little bit more in detail and uh, sometimes it's it's just um, a few simple things that uh, that make such a big difference as you can see here um, with the roof for example um, this doesn't use many pieces but if you um, if you take um, some additional pieces like these um, these metal beams and uh, put it like a frame around the roof that makes such a huge difference and uh, the whole roof looks totally uh, totally different and um, yeah a little nicer by the way, here um, uh, with the uh, with this roof, I experienced something that was pretty uh, weird, because um, I um, I noticed this in many builds in your zoo, Mariah. When I put um, uh, something like those metal beams on top of the glass roof, um, usually those. Um, yeah, those beams would uh, would stick to the grid and would um, be perfect um, to put them around and they would be exactly linear but suddenly um, i don't know why all of these pieces were, were off the grid all the time and i didn't understand why so maybe it was me or uh, there's, uh, there's something in, uh, in uh, the things you uh, were building that, um, yeah, that didn't like me. <laughs> but in the end I managed to, um, to fix it and um, 
make it look some kind of nice. Yeah, so I'm putting down some more benches for the visitors and some trash bins and also um, a sign for the visitors so that they will notice what animal they are seeing. So I'm wondering in one of my last videos um, I made um, a joke about people visiting zoos and um, telling their children what kind of animals they are seeing. So um, there's some, uh, some funny things um, sometimes that you would notice. Um, for example, I saw a mother that was standing in front of, uh, of a tapir habitat and uh, told her child that um, this was actually a pig or uh, another uh, guy who told um, that child that the tape here, um, it was a Malayan tape here to be fair, told the children that uh, this was a panda. Okay, I get it, same colors, but um, really, tape here, panda? Is it, uh, is it the same in different countries or are just German people that, that funny? Okay, so let's get back to what I am doing here. Um, I'm putting down many, many pieces of fake rock to make um, uh, some kind of, uh, of a stone wall. So I think that's interesting for you to see how easily you can put something like this together and you just copy um, uh, it around and um, uh, in quite short time you have the perfect wall around your habitat. Um, to be fair, um, I will delete all of this fake rock later because I, uh, I thought it didn't fit the vibe of, um, of the habitat. It uh, looked some kind alienish and it had to go. But I left this piece inside the video just for you to see how you can um, put uh, these things down and also um, yeah, make it a lit, uh, little variety in um, put it higher or sink it to the ground a little bit and um, yeah that's that's quite easy to uh, to get a huge effect also this had to be in the video even if I was deleting it anyways um, I thought it would look nice if we put down um, some kind of windows in the rocks so that the visitors actually um, uh, could see through the rocks in uh, into the habitat from the path and uh, in the back that you see there. That's also a pretty um, uh, nice idea and um, very easy to do um, if you just put the glass walls um, in, um, in the space between the rocks and um, put the rocks around it um, that doesn't uh, have to be perfectly linear, um, uh, it just can overlap, that, uh, that makes it look a little mi a bit more interesting and a little bit more, uh, nicer. So um, yeah, that's something that uh, you also can do. But as I told you, I'm going to delete this later on because I uh, figured out that this whole fake rock thing even if I recolored it in a darker color, wouldn't uh, wouldn't yeah wouldn't look right in uh, in that zoo. So there's a second window I'm putting down next to it. So okay, we finished um, the walls around it, and. Now we are going to pimp um, the shelter just a little bit. I did not uh, that much with the shelter because I thought um, it didn't need that much work. Just um, just a few little gimmicks, um, uh, something you can um, uh, have a huge effect with is also if you frame your building with um, some kind of uh, of this um, this uh, wooden beams 
so um, that makes it look um, a little different and a little bit nicer so that's what I did here and once again I had the problem with the grid and I don't know why but um, I also managed to work through this okay we're framing that whole building okay and what I'm doing now that is uh, something that I'm om uh, almost doing in every build when I build a city zoo because it makes it look a little more realistic that some kind of um, of doors um, so that it looks like you actually could close uh, that uh, that shelter um, because many zoos or almost every zoo um, uh, locks up their animals inside overnight so um, uh, that uh, yeah, that they are not in danger when they're staying outside in their habitat. Or that they not do get stolen. That's something that uh, that happens sometimes as well. Then I try to figure out what else I can do to this and um, I just thought about giving it some foundation with those temple pieces and that's everything I did with the building. I thought there's not much more needed. Even if I think it would uh, it would have looked great if I just put the glass roof a little bit higher so that you could actually see the nice glass roof that was on top of it. But okay, it still looks pretty nice. So once again, a lot of rock work we are doing. We are putting down a lot of rocks on the inside um, of, of the pool for the sea lions. Um, yeah, just to make it look a little bit more natural. And I just love the fact that you um, can now um, choose the option to, um, to put down the rocks in um, yeah, not always uh, in the same shape so that they move automatically if you put another one down. So that's a great feature that we got in the last update. Um, it also is a little bit tricky because if you um, select that option it um, uh, doesn't just go for the rocks and for the trees but it also goes for every other building parts. So if you go back to uh, building a shelter or some uh, or an actual building, um, you have to make sure that um, you have to make sure that uh, that you deselect that option so that you can um, build your normal stuff. Yeah, once again, some more rock work on the side of, uh, of the glass wall where the visitors can look inside um, uh, the pool of the sea lions just to make it look a little more interesting and natural. And here you already can see that this just doesn't fit with the fake rock. It looks, uh, it looks very crazy and very weird and um, yeah, I thought no, that that just doesn't work, and so I deleted all the fake rock and put in some some real rocks, and um, also not with the with the window option, and not that high, um, so that it is uh, so that it is not looking that overwhelming. But you you will see that if we, uh, after we are done here. So next thing is putting down some foliage. Um, you can't put down that much of foliage in a, in a sea lion habitat. So um, I try to keep it as simple as possible but make it look nice anyways. 
so I decided to uh, to not go with a lot of trees but um, put down some shrubbery some um, uh, seagrass and um, yeah that's that's all so that it looks nice and um, and a little bit lush but not too lush because Usually in a sea lion habitat you won't see any uh, any plants at all because they most of them look look very plain but um, as we are going for a very natural habitat in here so um, plants are welcome. So if you might hear um, some grunting or um, something in the background um, uh, please don't mind that is my cat that is saying me she wants to go outside but she just has to wait now uh, another two or three minutes until we are finished here and then I will let her out so <laughs> there's that okay so we're done with the plants we put back in the water a little bit higher and then I think we are finished with this. There's just some more rocks to make it not look that very much plain. And then we are close to an end. Oh yeah, these platforms we uh, we put them back down in um, in the water, so the sea lions could jump on there. And um, always think about if you put down um, uh, some underwater viewing areas to color the water, make it more transparent so that the visitors actually can see the sea lions in the water. And also it's a nice feature um, I might use it in my alligator habitat if I don't um, forget about it um, you have also the option um, for uh, for the Everglades um, a version of the water so that looks nice as well and now here um, we are taking care of the beavers so um, Mariah no more escaping beavers from uh, this day on for you I hope you're happy with that it was just some simple rocks that needed to be um, uh, put a little higher and yeah the beavers might be fine now and won't cross the pathways of your visitors anymore so here's the moment when I thought, no, those fake rocks have to go immediately and I have to delete every single one of them. And I'm trying to, uh, to save them by recoloring them, but it just didn't work out. So we are finished. So now we're back and I think we are finished with our sea lion exhibit. I hope Mariah will like what I did here. As you can see, um, last minute I decided to get rid of the fake rocks because I just thought um, they were not fitting the theme. They um, looked too more, uh, too much alien-like. So I deleted, uh, so I deleted all of them and put in those real rocks so that everybody, uh, everything looks nice again. I really like the idea of the uh, of the rocks with the window in, uh, inside there so that visitors could see um, through the window into the habitat of the sea lions but in the end um, those real rocks without the windows I think looks uh, looks more natural and nice so what else did we hear um, as you could see in the speed build we put a lot of rocks into the habitat. I had some issues with uh, with putting down the path, but I think it looks really nice now. So put this inside there. So, okay. And yeah, that's it. I hope Mariah likes what I did here. 
just let me know in the comment section what you think um, I made out of this. Do you like it? Um, would you have made something a little different? And um, yeah, just oh look, he plays with the bubbles. <laughs> the sea lion says he likes what I did. Okay, so thanks for watching the first episode. Thank you, Mariah, for sending your Sue. And as I said, I hope you like it. I hope you enjoy it. And I also hope you will watch the next episode where we will fix and pimp another habitat. Okay, bye guys.